Like you guys know, we love to hike. We love to be outdoors with Venus and Apollo. And something that always worried me is bugs, especially ticks. Ticks could be very dangerous, not only for dogs, but for humans as well. They carry a lot of disease. So I want to do a natural bug repellent because all the ones that they sell like for humans or that they have a lot of chemicals, they're not good for dogs, especially because Venus and Apollo, they both like to lick their paws. So I don't want to put something that have harmful chemicals on them. But I want to, I look online on a dog naturally magazine. They have a recipe with a bunch of essential oils. They are good to repel bugs like mosquitoes, fleas, ticks, and other insects that we could find when we are hiking. We live in the East Coast and this side of the country have more probabilities of ticks. That's something that always worries me a lot when we go hiking, especially in places where we know there's a big population of deers or hogs. So that's one of the main reasons I want to do this. Venus and Apollo, they are on flea, tick, and heartworm medication. So this is not something that we're going to stop doing. They're going to still get in their medication, but their medication, it prevents um, from them to get the heartworm when the mosquito bite them. And also when the tick bite them, the tick die. But it doesn't prevent from the tick getting on them or the mosquito getting on them. That's why I want to do this repellent to try to avoid the best we can of the actual tick or the flea or mosquito, whatever it is, to actually get in on them. Also, I saw that the best place to put this repellent is in the paws, the tail, the base of the tail, the bandana. That's where we will put the most, the bandana and their paws. Do not spray it directly on their face. You don't want them to get allergies and start sneezing or they get irritation in their nostril and in their eyes. So let's go downstairs and start making this DOI natural doggy bug repellent. Here are all the oils you need, like the hazelnut, lavender, Opoponax. And here is the bottle where we're gonna be doing our mix. The recipe, I'm gonna be doing it 10 times more than what it says that because my bottle is so big. This is a 16 ounces uh, spray bottle. Try to get one with the, the glass is pretty dark. It keeps the oils a lot better than one that is see-through. So the recipe say one and a half ounces of the hazelnut um, oil they will be our base so i'm gonna be putting instead 15 ounces they will be 10 times one and a half this one called for two drops so i'm gonna be putting 20 of them One, two, three, four, five. The rosewood also asks for two, so I'm gonna be also putting 20. For the lavender, ask for three drops, so I'm gonna be doing 30 of this one. This one asks for two drops, so I'm gonna be doing 20 of this one. This one is a one, so I'm gonna be putting 10 of this one. I'm gonna stir it to mix all the oils, make sure they all combine.
I'm gonna be using this one to put it inside the bottle because it have this pointy thingy and I think it's gonna be a lot easier to put it in the bottle with this one than with that one so I think I'm gonna be using this one Here is our repellent. This is how much I got doing temper, uh, 10 times the recipe. This is a 16 ounce bottle, I believe. I will link it down below. I believe it's 16 ounce. I got it in Amazon. I want to see what is the fragrance they have. Some of the smell of the oils were really good, others not so much. So I'm gonna spray it in my hand to see. And I think the one that you could notice the most is the mirror, I think is the name, and the rosewood. Those two are the most two dominant smells you have. In case the repellent don't work and he still get a tick or a flea, you should have one of these sets. These are tick and flea brushes. Like you can see here, the teeth of this brush, they are really, really tight. So if they get any bug, any tick, any ant, this brush will get it. This is a specific combo, it brings different ones. It brings some like for the face, the traditional one that our parents used to use when we were kids, and this long one for areas where they have more fur. I will link down below this kit if you want this one, but you can get any flea antique uh, brushes. It's nice if you're going hiking or if you're going anywhere where there's deer, horses, cows, all type of those animals to have this in your car just in case your dog get a tick on them. I'm going to show you this brush so you can see how easy it is to use. I'm going to say... The instructions say that you could put it in their bandanas, in their collar, in the base of the tail and their paws. I want to test on these two bandanas that I made myself uh, to make sure they don't ruin or stain the fabric before I put it on bandanas that I have bought and really loved. These ones are bandanas that mostly we use here to stain the house or for a picture on Instagram or something like that. But I have other bandanas that I have gotten in Etsy that are really nice and in case this stain, I don't want to ruin those. So I'm going to be testing with these two first to see how it goes, if it stains or if it needs to be like a dark material so you don't notice it have the oil. It says just to put a few droplets. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it in my hand. And then I'm gonna pat it on the bandanas like that. It's not like a squirt on the bandana. Actually, I'm gonna do one on one so we could see the difference. I'm gonna spray one directly, and the other one I'm gonna spray my hand and put it in the bandana. 
So this one, I'm going to spray it directly. I put in the setting on the mist one, supposedly, because the other one is more like a direct one. So I'm going to put it in the mist. Oh, yeah, that's not a mist. You see... This is upon first application. I think I'm gonna prefer the method of doing it first on my hand for the bandanas. Here is the second one. Here we have you cannot see any like really big marks of the oil well here there's like a drop you got the smell of the oil so the fabric did absorb the oil actually now that I'm smelling it more I know what this smell reminds me of I don't know how many of you are Catholic, but the ones they are, you know when we are in mass and the priest um, get the incense thingy, it smells just like that. Fall for me and everything, Bobby. <laughs> you did. I got you, buddy. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> Bye, buddy. Venus, am I going in the water, mommy? Come on, Venus.
Do it again. Come on, fishy, fishy. He did it. Again. He, did it. he listened. <laughs> Come on, fishy, fishy. Venus, come, Upa, Upa, come on, good girl, good boy. <laughs>